All right, this is your boy Ty Dollar Sign's newest album. It's 20 tracks, 51 minutes. So let's get into it. Now, your boy Ty Dollar Sign, he risen the fame of the 2010s. He featured with IG, with YG on To the End Booted, which you know YG is on this album too. So is his boss which is Wiz Khalifa. He signed to Wiz Khalifa's label. He's also on this album. And also, he had a well-acclaimed album with Free TK, with Free TC, which, of course, was his brother. And, you know, so let's get into it. Now, when a brother saw this album and it's 20 tracks, I thought this album would be over an hour but it seems to be only 51 minutes, which tells me that Ty Dolla Sign got a lot of filler, which he does. I'm telling you, everything that's with Famous, you can probably just skip because literally it's only like 30 seconds. This Famous, this Famous, all these Famouses, only about 30 seconds. Now, I thought maybe he did this because he knows that fame is fleeting. So maybe he was trying to make an overall statement. But still, in a musical album context, all these famouses fucking suck. I gotta say. I mean, it just seems like interludes with no real meaning to it. You know what I'm talking about? But we start off with a famous, which is an acoustic track. That's very kind of sweet, very nice and sweet. It really shows off Ty Dolla Sign's very nice vocals. Now, one of the best songs off this whole mixtape or album is X. That samples Only You by 112, and it heavily uh, samples it. I was like, it got me back to those days. But one of the problems I'm finding is it's only like it's it's only like under three minutes, you know, one of the best songs on here and it's under three minutes and stuff like that. Kind of a downer. Oh yes, and speaking of reminding me of the times, I like that uh Love You Better has that early two thousands Kanye high pitch vocals like the chipmunk vocals like pitched up very high reminded me of Kanye very much oh yeah and on drop top in the rain I love the ad libs and also how he has that kind of speak flow that was on t-shirt where you have to say things separately at one time but yeah yeah even though the track is yet again only like three minutes but still and i like how don't judge me and stare both talk about the effects of drugs and how it could make you feel insecure or you take drugs because you're insecure very nice oh yeah and i also like the weird ad libs in park i was originally not feeling it but yeah it kind of makes the song feel kind of unique to me and yes the song side effects even go even deeper about the well side effects of love and drugs or a mixture of both very nice and in your phone and don't sleep on me talks about the effects of being ignored by a partner or your loyal fan base nice i like the reggae flavorings of so I am, which is pretty nice, um, you know, uh, I don't feel like it's following the whole trend of uh, reggae that kind of was started.
by uh, Drake a little while ago and culturally appropriated by a bunch of artists like Sia and stuff like that. So, yeah. And that was the album. Overall, the album is full of a lot of filler. The album can be boiled down to either tracks with too many um, too many artists or tracks that are too short and seem like interludes. But still, it keeps up a good vibe. And you know what? Chai Dollar Sign shows himself to be a very talented singer and artist. All I wish is in the future he either makes longer songs or makes songs with less uh, group features. But hey, I'm going to give this album a good 7. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and share this video.